camera shut off on me again, sorry. There it is. Okay. Let's see. That's all on that. It's all on that side, that side. Let's see if this thing will come up. You gotta watch when you're taking this thing apart. That stays on top of the engine for now, and this that slides out of this. So when you get it apart, that's what the bottom looks like. things back out of the road again. I'm going to try and get you guys another look at what everything looks like. We'll turn the camera off and take it off the tripod. Okay. Trying to get enough light on the subject. This is this top of the spider assembly that all your fuel lines run from. You got to remember that if you replace that, make sure you take a picture of uh, all your. Uh, fuel lines get them in the exact order that they are now see how much that's all washed away and clean and that's washed away and clean and then back here right there it's all dirty it's all supposed to be all dirty. So there's uh, drain holes at the bottom of each one of these gullies so that when you get a fuel leak it doesn't lay inside. It drains down into the system. So, you got to watch. I know a lot of you guys have pulled uh, throttle bodies off and looked down inside. If you've got a clean spot anywhere, it means you've got a fuel leak. If you've got Trying to get a camera right. See right here where my finger is. See that? How dirty that is. That's the way it's supposed to look. It all should look like this. 
and this and this it all should look like that you see this hole down in here it's supposed to look like that if you've got any places that are wet like this back there or that place back there get to a camera in the right spot or down on this side see where that's all washed clean it shouldn't be like that so you've got a leak somewhere you got to figure out where that leak is because this this assembly right here depending on which one you get which year you get and where you got to buy it from you're going to spend between the high 200s to the mid 300s or more so check around check your prices and like i said for the for this for the 4.3 motor on the 2000 blazer they've got an upgrade assembly this will look the same it'll be a different part number but these injectors down here, they'll be different. So I'm going to stop the video right now and hook up some fuel lines again and try to tell again, see if I can see where my fuel leak's coming from. This is all for now. Hope all you guys and gals on YouTube have a good day. Bye. Okay. Trying to get enough light on the subject. This is the top of the spider assembly that all your fuel lines run from. You got to remember that if you replace that make sure you take a picture of uh, all your uh, fuel lines get them in the exact order that they are now see how much that's all washed away and clean and that's washed away and clean and then back here right there it's all dirty it's all supposed to be all dirty so there's uh drain holes at the bottom of each one of these gullies so that when you get a fuel leak it doesn't lay inside it drains down into the system so you gotta watch I know a lot of you guys have pulled uh, throttle bodies off and looked down inside if you've got a clean spot anywhere it means you've got a fuel leak if you've got trying to get a camera right see right here where my finger is see that How dirty that is that's the way it's supposed to look it all should look like this and this and this it all should look like that you see this hole down in here it's supposed to look like that if you've got any places that are wet like this back there or that place back there get a camera in the right spot or down on this side see where that's all washed clean it shouldn't be like that so you've got a leak somewhere 
you got to figure out where that leak is because this this assembly right here depending on which one you get which year you get and where you got to buy it from you're going to spend between the high 200s to the mid 300s or more so check around check your prices and like I said for the for this for the 4.3 motor on the 2000 blazer they've got an upgrade assembly this will look the same it'll be a different part number but these injectors down here they'll be different so I'm going to stop the video right now Hi all you YouTubers, this is uh, September 19th, 2015, working on a 2000 Blazer 4.3 motor, uh, four wheel drive. I am uh, reassembling uh, the top part of the motor, namely the fuel injection assembly the plenum and the throttle body and all the wires and connections and everything um, I'm starting out by cleaning uh, the injector wells uh, from what I've seen you're supposed to use a wire brush uh, similar to this uh, they make special brushes just for uh, cleaning the injector wells. They're smaller on the bottom and larger on the top to fit these specially tapered uh, wells or injector wells. Um, so that's what I'm going to start with first is cleaning the injector wells. This engine had uh, 125,000 miles on it, and the front and most of the right side, meaning the driver's side, was washed clean, and the left side on the rear uh, by cylinders two and four was dirty like you're supposed to be anytime you pull the throttle body or are able to look down through uh, your throttle body into the plenum and see areas uh, on top of the intake manifold which is underneath the plenum anytime you see clean spots anywhere in there it means you have a leak which is gasoline running down from either regulator leaking injector line leaking injector uh, leaking back up into the plenum um, you need to pull apart the injectors, or excuse me, 
the regulator on the back of the injector assembly can be replaced separately without replacing the injection assembly. Um, if you've got a lot uh, leak in one of the lines, there is no authorized way of fixing it that will stand up to the pressure and or not crack the line because from the heat and the, of the engine and age of the motor with the vibration they crack very easy and sometimes unless you can see the leak before you take the plenum off it is very hard to figure out what exactly is leaking because to get the plenum off you have to remove the fuel lines. Um, you can put the fuel lines back on and hook up this cap which puts power back to the injection assembly but I tried to do that on this and upon taking apart these fuel lines uh, the o-rings was ruined so I was not able to pressurize the system um, without the throttle body on the engine you know, it will not start. As I said in my last video, uh, when I was disassembling it, there is an upgraded uh, fuel pump assembly, which I'll explain and show you in detail a few minutes later. It is necessary to clean these ports very well. You've got a, you've got a lot of carbon buildup over the years that gets into these injector wells. If you don't clean them properly and get carbon out, you're going to have leaks when you pressurize the system. And then again, you could have a leak that uh, you're not aware of. If you don't have, uh, like this wire brush, I'm using it, um, it's the half inch is what the size it is. I don't know that it's the right size. Uh, you can use a battery terminal cleaner um, to clean them. You can use a screwdriver and a rag to clean the ports. Like I said, there's two different sizes on a uh, injector ports so you have to clean both ports very well. You want to make sure that if you use a, a screwdriver 
that it doesn't cut through the rag and score the inside of the injector assembly. <laughs> 